Welcome to the first tech tutorial where we're going to go over just some of the basics and what you need. There are many different kinds of cameras on the market right now. All of these are consumer cameras. These range in price from about $200 up to about $1500 depending on what you want to go for. There are a few other more expensive options that you could possibly go for if you have the budget. Be warned however, the higher price you go the more technically complicated they are. Tape is a dying format, so choose an HD camera, choose a tapeless camera, and choose something that is going to be easy for you to import the video files into your computer. Use a tripod where you can. This will give you the option for nice, steady, stable shots. Of course, not everyone can afford a tripod, but really you should be able to pick one up for around about the $50 mark. If you don't want to spend that much money, you can get an even cheaper one, which is these mini tripods that you can just balance on a table. They're quite handy. It's safe to assume that you're not going to be using an extra bit of kit to record your sound. Instead, you're more than likely to be using the built-in microphone in the camera. And for what you need, it's sufficient and will do. So what should you use to record your video easily? Personally, I use either my webcam on my Mac or I use my HD flip cam. When using my webcam, I can choose two options. I can either use Photo Booth or I can use iMovie to capture the video. Let me show you some quick and easy steps to record video using Photo Booth. Head over to Finder in your dock, go to Applications and find Photo Booth. Double click to launch it. Once launched, you may need to adjust your screen before capturing. Click on the movie icon and then click on the big red button to record. Once recording, do what you need to do, and when you're done, just hit on the stop button in the centre of the screen and your movie will then appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If you double click on this, it will then allow you to play back the film so that you can review it. Once you are done reviewing, just click pause and then click on the iPhoto icon which will launch iPhoto and you'll be able to see the clip that you have just recorded. From there, feel free to then drag and drop the clip onto your desktop so that that clip will then be ready for you to start editing with using iMovie. Now let me show you how to record using iMovie itself. Go over to your dock, click on iMovie to launch the application. Once launched, it will ask you if you want to import film nails. Just choose later. You then want to make sure that you have a project ready in which to actually record film too. So head up to your file, choose a new project, give it a name. You'll need to excuse my slow typing skills here. Then click on Create. Next, head over to the small camera icon on the left hand side and double click on this. It will then launch the window in which to record from. Head over to Capture on the right hand side and you'll need to give your capture a little name. Call it Test if you like and hit OK. Once it has started capturing, do what you need to do and then click over to Stop when you're ready. It will then show you a little progress bar which is actually just generating the thumbnails. From there you can hit done and your clip will then appear in the bottom here. You can kind of scroll through it just to see that it's recorded properly and that's you pretty much ready for your clip to start editing in iMovie. Now let me show you how to record using the HD flip cam. Turn the flip cam over to the side and press the on button. Once it is switched on, you'll see in the centre you have a plus and minus in which you can zoom in. You can see the little zoom panel on the right. 
or zoom back out again. When you're ready, if you press the red button, this starts recording for you. Once you're done, you can hit the red button again to stop recording. And if you want to play back your film, just hit the little play button on the left hand side. You can select through to find it and then hit play. It will play back for you. When you're done, hit the play button again and it will stop. If you want to delete that film because you don't like it, just hit delete, use the arrows, go to yes and hit the play button to say delete. Once done, go to the side and flick open the little USB connector that is on the side of the camera. Make sure your camera is still switched on when you're connecting it to your computer. Then simply slide it into the USB port and you're good to go.